link. Let's continue. And then it's a period, so I'm going to concatenate it with a, concatenate it with a string, which is a period. So with a space, and then concatenate it with name graduated and went to work as a profession. So name, I know it's username. And then concatenate it with. I know I'm going to exceed the screen, uh, screen, so I'm going to I'm going to break it off somewhere here. So username, I'm breaking it off, but I'm I have my plus sign already, so I'm just concatenating it with a string here. So username over here, username, or on basically name graduated, right? So space graduated and went to work as a, and it's a profession. So I'm going to concatenate it with what's stored in user profession. Or what's going to be stored in user profession. Continue the string. So it's going to be a period. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. That's my fault. I hope I didn't I didn't hit anyone here. So I, I hit the microphone by accident, sorry. This is the second time this happened. <laughs> Alright, so sorry. Alright, so well, um, I hope I didn't hit anyone's ears by the way. Alright, so username um, graduated and went to work as a user profession. Alright, so there's a period here. Um, so the string period. And then then comma username adopted. Okay, so then username, so concatenate it with what's stored in username. Username, okay, I'm going to concatenate it with string space adopted a yeah, or n animal. And we know animal is stored in the animal var animal variable. So concatenate it with what's stored in animal. I'm going to break it somewhere here, hit enter, continue. Okay, named pet name, an animal named pet name, animal. So I'm going to concatenate, concatenate it with a string space named pet name is stored in user pets. So we can so we can use the, var the value stored in that. And then a period. So concatenate it with a period here. And then a space. And then actually we can continue. They both lived happily ever after. Happily ever after okay so I think we're done with the string now with our semicolon so basically user output string started out with an empty string okay again I apologize for the microphone I, I hope I didn't hit anyone here I'm, I'm just I'm, I feel bad sorry about that all right so user input user output string and um, started out as being an empty string and we are concatenating to what's already stored in user output string, which is an empty string. We are adding this whole string to it and then storing a result back in user output string. So by the end, the user output string is going to have this whole string stored in it. And now when we are done, we can just display it using the G option panes, show message dialog. All right, so we are done forming our string. We'll, we'll check to see if, if, if everything is working properly. All right, so G option pane dot show message dialog. Now it's going to center the the dialog on the on the screen and then user output string is going to be displayed so basically the second argument is basically what's going to be displayed on the dialog box so it's stored in user output string basically the content of user output string all right and lastly anytime you, you use a g option pane you want to call system dot exit pass in a zero and that this is because anytime you start you use a G option pane, uh, um, pane okay, and um, and and something called a thread is is um, is started, okay. Basically, a, an additional task is started, uh, called a thread, and system that exits uh, basically, it terminates that, that 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 thread, and this zero is basically is is um is a code okay is a, is, a, is an argument that's going to be, it's going to be passed back to the operating system. Okay, not to us. It's going to be passed back to the operating system, and it um, basically this this value, okay, no, indicates w whether the program runs successfully, or basically w whether the program got to this point, and and and, and runs successfully. If the if zero was was received by the operating system, it's normally an an indication that the program runs su successfully. Okay, it's normally an indication that the program run got to this point, and runs successfully. Zero is an indication of a of a successful 
um, program run or something. All right. And, and also it terminates that extra thread started by, um, that, which is started by the Jobson pane. All right, so now I think we're done. Let's test this and see what happens. So I'm going to compile this and then save it in, let's see. I'm going to save it in the other requested Java programs playlist. So all the programs and I'm going to save it as Word Game 2 and create a folder for it. And then I'm going to save this as Word Game 2. It has to be the same name as the class. Save it. Let's see if we have any errors. Oh, we do. Uh, let's see. Okay, sorry. Um, and I'm sure some of you got this. It's not it's not javax.util. For the Geoption pane, it's javax.swing. Okay. I've been using uh, util so much that you know, I, I, you know sometimes I forget it. All right. So basically, we are importing the Geoption pane class located in the java.swing package, not the, not the java. Dot, not um, not the java.util package in the javax.swing package. Okay, and it, we are doing this from from the from the from the Java API. We are importing the Geoption Pane class from the Java X dot Swing package. Okay, so that's what it is. I forgot to. It skips me sometimes. All right, so it's Java X dot Swing and not Java Java, Java dot Util. Compile this, and we have another problem. User pet. Okay, so it, it cannot find user pets because we didn't declare it over here. I think I once I once I. Um, typed it here. I didn't declare it up here, so I'm going to. I'm going to after. I'm going to add it here after um, animal. I'm just going to declare user pet here. All right, so compile this, and then now we are fine. All right, so let's run this and see what happens. It's loading up the G option pen. Okay, so please enter your name. I'm going to enter Kakra. Please type in your age. I'm going to enter 27. City, I'm going to type in West Haven. You know, I'm going to use uh, my, my um, wh wh where I'm from originally, which is Ghana, but I'm going to use the city there, so Takradi. The college, okay, I'm here now, so I'm going to type in Southern Connecticut State University. Please type in your profession. I'm just going to say programmer. Or web develop web des I'm just going to say web developer. Please type type in an animal name. I'm going to say dog. Type in your pet's name. I'm going to say B. Okay, so okay, so this is bad because it's actually a long string. All right, we'll fix this in a second. But we can see it's working. There, there once was a person named Kakra who lived in Takra at eight. You know, this is this is bad. So let's just end it here. Let's end it here. Um, so basically what happened was that we didn't have any line breaks in our string, and that's why it's basically displaying on a, on a, on a, as a long string. So let's break it up. Let's break it up after, uh, let's break it up actually where, where it's broken up here. So after, so basically there was once a, a person named, named who lived in a city. At the age of age, so that's where we want to break it first. So at the age of age, we want to go ahead and break it here. Right, and we can do that with a new line character. So backslash n, we can do that here. Back, so backslash is basically starts an escape sequence. When you type in a backslash in two double quotations, basically when you want to display a backslash like that, just by typing in one backslash, it, it wouldn't be displayed on the screen. It starts an escape sequence. Once you type in the backslash, it, it expects one of the special escape characters. If you don't type in an, an escape character right after the backslash, you're going to get an error. And n happens to be one of the special escape characters. And what it does is, it's basically going to create a line break or cause a line break, meaning it's going to move the position from where it's at to the next line. And anything that comes after the backslash n is going to be displayed on that next line. So the backslash n together is one is one character. Actually, it's stored in in memory as one character. And it's an escape sequence, right? Backslash n, basically, it's not going to be printed on the screen. It's going to basically move the position from where it's at um, currently to the next line. And anything that comes after the backslash n is going to be displayed on that next line. So this is this is what we're going to use to break the line. All right, so we've broken up, broken this up here. All right, so after the comma, right? And we did it after the comma. No, we did it before the comma. So let's do it after the comma, like that, just so it looks exactly like this. Name went to so. 
Nam graduated and went to work as a where is it? Graduated and went to work as a so let's break it here. Backslash n. Okay. It doesn't matter if there's a space here. As, long, as soon as the um, interpreter sees the backslash n, it creates it moves the position from where it's at to the next line. So anything that comes after the new line character is displayed on that next line. Anything that comes after it is going to be displayed on that next on the next line. All right, so let's see where it's broken up again. They both lift. Where is it? They both lift. Okay, so here they both lift. So I'm going to break it here. Hold on. Backslash n. Okay. So as soon as it sees this, it's going to break it, and it, and then happily ever after is going to be displayed on the next line. Okay. So let's try this, and then run it. Type in the same values again. Kakra. Twenty-seven. Takra there. I'm going to say SCSU web developer animal dog maybe all right so now we can see that it's it's broken up nicely over here and it's just like this the once was a person named Kakra who lived in Takrade at the age of 27 Kakra went to college at, at SCSU uh, Kakra gr graduated and went to work as a web developer then Kakra adopted a, a dog named Ibi. They both lived happily ever after. So we can see that it's working. The only thing is I need to fix some spaces here. So right, right when I broke it at the um, age over here, let's see. There's a space here, and that's why we can see the space. It's a space here. So I'm going to just delete that space. I don't need it. And this is an another space here as a oh, base glass uh, over here. Hmm, let's see, yeah, over here, there's another space here, I don't need it, so, yeah, I think, I think we're good, so compile this, run, try, just one more time, Kakra, You can see now it's organized and it's in line and it's the same as this the only difference is the values are being are replacing these placeholders all right so so that's the same program uh, word game implemented using the Egyptian pain cla class um, I hope the person who uh, who requested it is happy <laughs> all right if you have any questions please comments down below and I'll do everything to respond to them as always um, thank you very much for watching Take care of yourselves, and I'll see you next time with the next program. All right, then. Bye-bye.